Hi everyone! I'm Mary of Mary's Happy Belly. Make sure you subscribe. I am here with my mom. It's a beautiful summer. Her name is Queenie. Hello. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi. I want to teach you a really quick and easy summer dish that you must, must make. And what it is, is smoked oysters, a lemony dill pasta dish. And once you have all the ingredients and you prepare it, it literally takes five minutes to assemble. And we're gonna do that together, right? Outside, yes. yes. So join me as I tell you what the ingredients are, how to prep for it, and then we can assemble that together. Okay, see you. <laughs> First of all, let's talk ingredients. So you can't have a pasta dish without pasta. Here I have some capellini, but you could use angel hair, spaghetti, or other lengthy noodles like this. Perfect. And in terms of smoked oysters, you use any brand. That's what it looks like. It's salty and it comes in, it's soaked in sunflower oil, which we're also going to be using. Of course, dill. We have baby dill here that's super aromatic. And from some saltiness, we have parm fresh lemon juice, salt and pepper, and literally that's it. And it's all the flavors are gonna come together and it's gonna be so good. So first thing we're gonna do is have some salted water. I'm gonna boil this up. Package of noodles in some salted water. Smoked oysters are amazing to have in your pantry because they have a really long shelf life. And look at them, they're cute, they're small, they're briny, they're salty and yummy. Yeah, so perfect. You just open up a can and you can get yourself a, an amazing dish. You can even make like tapas and hors d'oeuvres and stuff. There's so many combinations and perfect in this pasta dish. Next, add in the oysters with the sunflower oil to the sautéed garlic just for about a minute and turn off the heat. So don't mind the kids playing in the background. Um, it'll be less than five minutes actually. So we've already sauteed the garlic. We have the oysters and the sunflower oil. The capellini, just to recap, was, was cooked in I think about five minutes. A little bit all Dante and drained. Uh, so I'll get my mom to help me out. All right, so first things first with the pasta. We, um, it really doesn't matter about the order, but let's actually just start with the oysters. Uh, oysters in the bowl. Don't worry about the lemon yet, that comes later. So add all of this into the bowl. Okay. These are lifesavers, so so good for tossing things around as you go. So you really want to evenly distribute it just like that and the oil is going to coat every one of those strands and give it that saltiness. But of course, we're going to have some extra virgin olive oil to give it more of that delicious texture, flavor, and aroma. Okay, so from here, we can add the lemon juice. Okay, we also want the zest, very important. Uh, so I am going to zest while my mom gets the lemon juice in. These are so helpful. So the zest, definitely. <laughs> Smelling it. <laughs> okay, let's get all the zest in. So normally I zest before I do this. Mom, let's uh, zest before we squeeze. Make sure there's no seeds that go inside. Okay, all four. Yes. Can you squeeze the other uh, lemons in there? Thanks, Mom. <laughs> My mom is so cute. <laughs> So normally I learn all the Cantonese dishes from her. Today I do something a little bit different. You'll love this. And I hope you're going to make it super, super easy. Right? Get all that zest from the side. Tap it. And let's get that juice in. So again, it's very lemony. It's salty. And my favorite is dill. So I'm not sure what type of herbs you like and if you're growing that in the garden I'm growing some baby dill in the garden and from here so this is the dill I've already chopped it up and I'm gonna use half of it and the reason why I'm gonna use 
half of this dill right now is really kind of mixes in, but I find that the color really has a pop when you leave some of it at the end and then plate it. So I'm only going to use half of this and be generous with this. Don't worry about being like, it's too much dill because once you coat everything, um, mix it up, mom. Mix it all up, yeah. And from here, I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Maybe two pinches of salt and then we're going to taste it. Some freshly cracked black pepper. Again, right before serving, I love adding fresh herbs and also some freshly cracked black pepper and a drizzle of the olive oil, which I'll show you. So it's gonna look like it's glistening. Uh, let's add the rest at the end, okay? And then from here, let's add some parm, uh, extra virgin olive oil to make it extra soft. And I'll show you because I know the bowl is a little bit far right now. Uh, but I'll give you a close-up, okay? And then, let's get some parm. Who does not love parm, okay? Because that saltiness. It's one of my favorite cheeses in the entire world. Okay, so we're going to do a quick taste test. That's the best way. Mm. Oh, God, it's so perfect right now. That lemon juice, that saltiness. So good. We're missing a little bit more lemon. Another mm. half a lemon. Yeah. All right, so I'm gonna bring you a little bit closer to the, the bowl now. Oh, thanks, Mom. You're so helpful. So this is what it looks like up close. The texture. Again, it's very subjective of you know how much olive oil and salt. We're gonna plate this now. Uh, thanks, Mom. Do you mind plating it? Good. Okay, so what I like to do from here is add a little bit more fresh dill so you get that pop of color. Another drizzle of extra virgin olive, just a little bit. Can you get that out? Beautiful. Also some cracked pepper. And she's gonna try some and tell me what you think. Mm. It's really delicious.